Hello, I'm Bishop William Medley of the Diocese of Owensboro today to come with you with a special message. April is Child Abuse Protection Month. It's a time to raise consciousness of the terrible wrong, this terrible sin in our culture that children are exploited and hurt by adults. It's not just an observance of the Catholic Church, but of our society and culture, recognizing that this happens in too many places, too many ways, to too many children and young people, in schools, churches, with scouts, even in families. For many years, the Diocese of Owensboro has hosted an annual prayer service to mark this month of awareness and concern. But in 2020, we cannot gather. We can invite not invite people to come together to pray. But the issue is too important to forget. We can't skip a year. Victims are too important. Children are too important to not observe this. And I come by way of this message to speak to it. In the gospel, Jesus tells his followers to care for the most vulnerable among us. The poor, the homeless, the hungry, the lonely, the children, the unborn. We are called to uphold human life as sacred to protect human dignity of all, to assure that no one will be exploited and harmed. We are all responsible for the protection of children. Churches must be the safest place for children, and they must be especially vigilant in protecting children. Tragically, in the past, churches have been places where children were often exploited. We've come a long way in changing that, but we must always be vigilant. And as always, we have to be aware that there are people who have not yet told their story, who have not yet let someone help them heal the wrong that was done to them. Statistics are appalling. One in every four girls, one in every six boys are sexually abused before they turn 18. Sadly, such is not rare. The Catholic Church is committed to prevention, but also to healing. We partner with different agencies to help anyone who has been a victim, not just victims of the church. Support and pray for all those who have been harmed, and know that the church stands with you. Even if in your past, the church or someone representing the church was a part of your hurt, the church wants to help you to heal. I'm deeply sorry for what happened. I spend a good part of my life, we spend a good part of the resources of the church trying to undo the wrong that was done. God bless you. Let's all pray for those who have been harmed and pray that this terrible thing never happens again. Thank you.